This is what you and thousands of others have been waiting for. It is time to return to a classic on the channel. The Leighton Orient career mode that was filled with incredible youth academy talents. And today, we are taking them on. Yes, Leighton Orient, we are back. And we are going to create an insane youth academy. We are only allowed to use youth academy players in this rebuild. So Leighton Orient, get ready for an incredible journey and a long video that I hope you guys will be enjoying because this is a passion project for me. Good for you. First of all, let's check out what this team still has in it. Is there anyone that we remember from back in the day? I think I remember Clay. Apart from that, anyone else? I really hope I'm not missing out on anyone right here that used to be like a sick player. I remember this guy, right? Archibald, I don't think he was a big part player for us back then, so I'd be surprised. But Sergeant, I remember. I remember that guy. I remember Sweeney. Okay, Oggy, I see you. So there are plenty of players happy as well. Okay, I see a bunch of the boys from back in the day, but that's obviously not important. Starting off, straight away Youth Academy. Is there anyone for us? Oh, wow. This is horrific. So we are not necessarily looking at any big talent straight away, which means we will have to go ahead and spend all of our budget on an insane Youth Academy scout. So when it comes down to that, we have 2 million right now. Ideally, I would obviously love to go in and sign a big, big uh, scout straight away. Where is this again? Is it youth staff? I think that's the one, right? So right now we have a one star, one star. I don't really, I don't even care. I don't need that. What we need to get is at least a four star, four star scout. Or maybe a four star, five star one. It will cost me a lot of money, which means, actually this one, four star, four star. Lori Naziri from Albania. I will have to go ahead and sell a bunch of players to make up for it by going ahead and spending our entire budget here. It's obviously going to be huge for the club, but this man is now signed. And with that, we need to start thinking about where do we send this scout to to start things off with. And as we always do, at first, it's got to be the country that we play in, and that's England. Good morning, England! Oh. Question is, though, what do we do exactly? I'm thinking for the first season, we go to England only, but we actually go with three-month periods looking for different things. At first, I think what makes most sense is to try and find a goalkeeper that can go along with us for the long run. So let's start off with that. Flori, I hope you can bring us a good goalkeeper straight away. I just realized that things are looking worse than I thought. We have a bunch of players that are part of our starting 11, like Turns, Mizuni, Kelman now as well, that are only loaned in. So this team could legitimately fall apart by the end of this season. So this season is extremely important when it comes to the academy already. I believe on the 22nd, we should be getting our first scout report. Now, obviously, throughout this video, I'm going to show you the most significant talents that we do sign through the Youth Academy. Some might slip through that only end up being on the bench and all that stuff. I hope you guys are okay with that. Where the hell is my Youth Academy stuff? Here we go. Nezuri, first scout report. 90k. 90k. Oh, 500k. That's much better. Roman Bailey. And then 220. I'll take Bailey. He's 17 as well. Please tell me he's at a good rating because if he is... We could potentially pop him into the starting 11 and sell our goalkeeper. Youth Academy, here he is, 58. That's good enough for me. Roman Bailey, he's the first one to come into the team. He will be promoted. And the reason behind this is, I know he's low rated, but the reason behind my decision there is we can sell on this guy. We can sell him on and possibly sign a second scout. That's something I want to do. And uh, yeah, we'll do exactly that. Bailey, the first one to come into the team. Welcome, buddy. More to come soon. Now, I'll take that scout off the England goalkeeper position and I'll send them away once more looking for defenders. Are you sure about that? Actually, forget about defense. We need a striker because the one that we have is only on loan. So we're going to go to England once more and look for an attacker. Now, as I do this, I want to know from you guys, if you do your career modes, do you do Youth Academy as well? Like, do you actually pay attention to it and do like a Youth Academy to Glory type stuff? In my opinion, it's the most fun I've personally had. 
on career mode alongside with the other concepts like going ahead and utilizing players I've never heard of that are like 60 something rated and turning them into beasts. Let me know in the comments down below if you do Youth Academy, where you where do you send your scouts to? Like, what is the specific thing that you are looking for? For me right now, it's an attacker. We are in a scout report for the attacking position and we have a man for 500k. So that could be our guy, Theodore Shaw. Six foot two tall, left footed, a target man type player, question mark. Huh? <laughs> Hold on. 1.7 million. Oh, let's go, dude. That's amazing. 1.7. That's huge. I don't need anyone else. You guys can go. You go. I mean, 450k. No, no, you can go. You can go. I don't need you. I have found the player. Let me go into my youth academy real quick and show you. What's his rating? 65. Yes, Ethan Bird. Hey, Shaw, I'm sorry. I wanted to showcase you, but I had no idea. Bird was hiding behind you, but he's a right mid. Oh, well, that changes things. Okay, so let me quickly promote both of these guys. Both of them are old enough, which is obviously ideal. But let me just double check. Can, can Bird play at striker? Oh, no, he can't. Now, that puts me in a weird spot. I need to get rid of Smith because Sotirio is someone that I, in a different rebuild, turn into an amazing player. We're going to go Bird right here. And then we're going to take out Kelman and put in Shaw, at least for now. Okay. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. I'm now halfway through the season and sold a bunch more players. And we haven't found anyone else, by the way. We have now signed Koi Cool, an Estonian scout. And hopefully, this one can help us. We are going to send him out to find some interesting players for us. I believe... I believe I just want to go for technically gifted. Typical Brazil, technically gifted. It just makes sense, doesn't it? Let's see what we can get from over there. But two of our scouts are looking for talent. So far, we haven't necessarily found too many, considering we have been out for at least half a year already. Two months later, we have found a left back. A center forward and another center forward. Both of these guys can actually turn into striker. I believe one of them actually goes up a plus one in their rating when turned into a striker. But you can tell the academy's coming together nicely and bringing in good players. Reggie Carter, Felipe Castro and Diogo Branco. Welcome. I haven't actually signed any of the players at the end of the season. This is how they are looking. I'm going to sign them next time around and I think they're going to help us big time. I might have to figure out how to play though. And you can tell these guys are way higher rated than some of the players that we have in our team, especially the striker position. Shaw, I put him in there, but this Drinnen guy has been playing. I've not been able to sell him. I've not been able to sell a bunch of players, but you can see Bird has gone up to a 70. Bailey has gone up to a 60. Those are two players that we will have to take quite serious moving forward, but in the league. Wait, we were in the promotion playoffs? Oh, yes, we were. Wait, did we lose? Oh, we lost 6-0 on aggregate. Okay, so we're going to remain a League 2 side for now. But I am happy to see that we got that high up. So Tiriu, it was expected. He was the main man right there. I might actually change the left midfield and right midfield position to left wing and right wing. I believe they will go up in rating once more. But now, let's go into our second year. Well, let's do this thing. Actually, in the new season, the lads are in. Both strikers, Castro and Branco up top. Both from Brazil, obviously. I need to make a decision on the formation. And that is what we have done here. 4-1-2-1-2 wide to fit in all the players. Now, I would love to bring a new center attack in mid into this team. A new CDM would be perfect. But Carter, the other Youth Academy talent, is coming in to compete against the likes of Oggy, who is also a youngster. So we'll have to see how we deal with that. And then Shaw will just be on the bench for now. Sweeney takes over his position at left back and Brown takes over at right back. He's 22 years old, grown a lot. So really, really good stuff there. The midfielders will actually remain midfielders instead of wingers. So that will fit into our formation. As I said, I need to go ahead and make a decision on where I want to send my scouts to. And that needs to happen just about now. Before I... What? What was that? Huh? That just disappeared. Anyways, 
Let me go ahead and find a, a, a countries to go to. Huh? And here they are. Spain or Playmaker. And then France or Defensive Minded. I think that's going to go well. I also just realized something. We have a £6 million pounds budget, which means... I can buy another scout, and this one could be the best of the best, so I'm going to take my time. I want a five-star, five-star one. He'll come. And there he is, Ryan Perry is my man that I want to sign for Leighton Orient, and I'm going to send him over to my country. Yes, I'm going to look for talent in Turkey, and we're going to start doing nine months from now on. He's going to look for any, so yeah. Actually, no, not nine. Let's go for six for this one. But yeah, give me some good Turkish talents, please. A couple of months into this season, we are now looking at some incredible talents that we have found. Theo Laurent from Belgium, 16 years old, 6'6 six six tall. He joins us immediately. Then looking at this Hugo Ramos guy, who I'm trying to turn into a CDM because I desperately need one. He came in at an extremely high value, which is amazing. Then we have this Sefa Shahin lad, who I think we could turn into a center attack in midfielder as well. Our youth academy is working hard, and I think this one has been done wrong. He shouldn't be a CDM. I think he should be a cam. His passing looked class. And yes, I was right. This reminds me of actually how we did the Leighton Orient uh, youth academy career mode back in the day. We had a guy, a Turkish guy with blonde hair that we turned from a different position into a cam and he jumped like 10 ratings. Uxoy or something like that. And now we have Mahmoud Yildiz. Let's go, dude. Promote it immediately. You know what? Hugo Ramos, I'll promote you in a second. Once you turn into a CDM. How long does it take you? Three more weeks. We'll wait. And then we'll wait for the rest of these guys as well. But yes, lads. Good stuff. Very, very good stuff happening. A new goalkeeper comes in to take over and Yildiz comes in to take over from Moncur as well, who I'm definitely going to get rid of so that our boy gets that playtime. Really good stuff here, guys. Loving it. So here we are again and we're looking at Ramos turning into a CDM. 64 would be perfect. Okay, he doesn't go up in rating, but that's okay for me. So Ramos will come in straight away into the starting 11. Huge. Then we have this shine guy who have changed into a cam. He goes up to a 65. Okay, that's very, very good. Let's promote him. He's 18. And then I found this guy, Onur Kara. He is a left wing back, 17 years old. I'm going to turn him into a left back and he can go straight into the start starting 11 because we have an issue. Sweeney is forcing his way out of the team. Yes, he has requested a transfer, so that guy... He's coming in at the perfect time. Perfect. Well, let me show you something, my friend. And it is the playoff finals. Yes, we are in the playoffs once more. And this time, I think we can do it. I believe in my team. It's a 5-4 victory on penalties. Carter gets it done in the end. Our center back steps forward. That is too close for comfort, but it is fine. Because we have now been promoted. Leighton Orient is going up. League 2, you can see we came in 6th position. Bradford City and Doncaster and Bristol Rovers are going up as well. Congratulations to them. But most importantly, our youth academy lads. Branco, 23-3. Castro, 18-2. Zotirio coming in with the 14-10. Great stuff. Bird with the 13-11. You can tell our strikers and our wingers are doing a great job. And Yildiz in his first season with insane growth. But only 2 goals. That's a bit of a letdown, I will have to admit, but it is fine. We will continue our journey in League One. I haven't been able to find any other talents. We still have these guys in here. Could be somewhat serviceable, but still, I'm not feeling too well about these. I might go ahead sign and uh, sign this Felix Chavez, though. But yeah, let's get into League One. In our new season, the scouts are going to Cameroon to look for any for uh, Argentina to look for a winger and then for Ryan Perry we're sending him to Germany to find a defensive minded player. Why am I doing all that? Well specifically I am looking for a center back instead of happy. I am looking for a right back instead of brown. Now these players that we sign will have to be high rated so we might not be able to find some uh, like a lot of them. But hopefully, one or two quality signings all throughout the year. That's all we need. We might have found the winger. Yes, 
Adrian Garrido. He is 17 years old, 1.8 million in value. That's the highest that we have found so far, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. That's a huge one. He's a left midfield slash left winger, it looks like. So he could be Sotirio's replacement. And here he is now. Yes, I got my glasses on. We have the Youth Academy. We have Garrido. Yes, 67 rated. I like that. I like that a lot. He is not far away. We're going to go with the skill moves. And you know what? I might actually go ahead and get rid of Sotirio immediately. Because I do need this guy to get playtime. It's only a minus three difference. I'm sorry, buddy. You turned you into a ridiculous player in a different rebuild. Now, it's time for Garrido. He comes in. He takes over. Here we go. We might have found the solution. We have this Jona Müller guy coming through Germany. And Castillo, another left winger coming in from Argentina once more. But Müller turning into a right back. That is something I work towards. And... In three weeks, he'll go up to a 65. Our current right back is, I believe, a 72 or something like that. So we'll have to think about possibly putting him into the starting 11 already. It is painful to do it, but we do need to do it because I want to have as many Youth Academy players in there as possible. So please understand that. As things stand, the only original left right now is Oggy, the captain. He's only 23. Am I gonna not am I gonna be nice to him? I think I am. I'm gonna leave Oggy here. He's gonna be my captain. So we have a full team already. And we can just go ahead and smash people now. Let's do it. Things have been quite interesting here at the end of this season. You can see that Leighton Orient sadly lost in the playoffs, which meant that we have gotten ourselves into a playoff spot once more. And we got close. We got close, but not close enough for championship football. And honestly, I don't mind. We have a 66 rated right back. We have a 70 rated left back, 71 rated left mid. We are not ready for the championship. But then on the other hand, other players are fully prepared. Castro, Branco, Bird, all these guys are ready. But the entire team needs to catch up. It has been quite a journey until now. But the lads are doing numbers once more. Right mid, left mid, strikers doing great. I need the cam to step up his game. Mahmoud Yildiz, come on, buddy. Only four and three in this season. That's not good enough for me yet. But then again, our bench, is it looking decent? I guess it's okay. It's not terrible. There are some good players in there, especially considering that we have brought this Castillo guy in as well. So we do have a couple of wingers now who can help us out. I probably should turn one of them into a right wing so they can play on the other side as a substitute. But yeah, you can kind of tell that this team next season could do bits. We should get promotion. Season's over and expectedly the boys smashed it. 102 points for Leighton Orient now becoming a championship club with players that might be too good for it. Our attack clearly is ready for the championship especially bird on an 87 right now but the players that were on a lower rating ramos ogi cara mula from a 66 to a 73 all these guys have done well and this is exactly what we needed so good job on these guys on getting things done exactly the way they needed to be but performances i expected to it's the front four again yep it clearly is the front four once more and then Carter gets involved as well with goals. Ramos as well. And Yildiz only with the seven assists and three goals. It is what it, it is what it is. So we'll move on and get into championship football, championship football immediately. Nice. It seems like we will never get away from being the team of the playoffs. And right here against Watford, we get through the Premier League club. That's what Leighton Orient can call themselves now. Amazing stuff from our team. Congratulations to the lads. Castro and Branco, both with the 85. Yildiz, 82. Let's look at the lowest rated ones, actually. Müller, 78. Ooh, goalkeeper up to an 83. Ogi and Kara are the lowest rated ones alongside Ramos. But that is okay. I'm fine with that. This is a good team, man. That's a team that will be able to compete up there. I'm very excited about it. Especially our attackers are looking insane. 36 and 3, 30 and 5, 12 and 17, 12 and 9. And Yildiz finally 
with a good season. 5 and 12. Let's go, buddy. Things are finally looking up for our team. And I cannot wait to see what this team could do in the Premier League. I do believe it could actually... I think we could get top six. Am I expecting too much? Our season in the Premier League has come to an end. And my top six prediction. Let's see if it has gone through. Because as far as I can tell here in the league... I've got some decent-ish results, but nothing amazing. The team itself is actually amazing. It's very good. Who's the lowest rated? The left back with an 81. And then after that, it's Müller with the 83. Bird up to a 93. He's flying up in his ratings, while the others are just playing catch-up at the moment. But uh, in the league table, fourth. What? I didn't see that many great performances there. You have 10 draws, 9 losses, 19 wins in total. 67 points was enough to get top 4. And Spurs, Spurs have won the league title. Having said that, I actually kind of like the new Spurs, apart from Richarlison, obviously. But uh, yeah, I really like Ange Postogoglu. I I've, I've watched a bunch of his games last season at Celtic. So yeah. I kind of like him. Now, here we have Branco Castro again at the top two. Bird coming in with the 14 assists. But generally speaking, you can see the output has come down for the team overall. Because obviously we're playing against much better competition. Now, having said that... We somehow made it into the Champions League. So it seems like our team got past a very strong opponent in PSG. And now, possibly Barca on top of it as well. To play against Napoli, who I would rank below those two teams. So there's a really good chance they could actually pull this off. And the league games are not going too bad either. Is this going to be a season which we can reach the double? Is there a chance for us to do this. Leighton Orient smacking their opponents as we speak. It's a joy to watch and only losing against Spurs at the end there. If that costs me a title, I'm going to be so freaking upset. Let me see right here. Champions League finalists with Youth Academy players. First place. Get in. Oh, that is amazing. So we have won the Premier League. We have not been able to get anything done in the Carabao Cup. The FA Cup also doesn't belong to us, but we can win a massive double with us stepping up in the Champions League final with these lads. Castro hitting past Branco, 94 rated, Yildiz on a 90, Bird 95. And defensively, I'm seeing Carter on a 94. He's insane. But yeah. All the Youth Academy players, Kara on an 84, lowest rated player in the team. Ramos got a big jump up right there. And our goalkeeper on 91, the bench looks horrific. It's okay though, because our starting 11 can pretty much go ahead and win anything that is out there. Now, Castro and Branco, both great performances so far. Leading the line, the Brazilians have been doing bits for us. And uh, the Englishman, Bird is our highest rated player now i am excited to jump into this final especially because i don't actually know how tall how short these players are what their skills are if they actually feel good in game that's the best part about youth academy champions league finals and now we can also take a look at our opponents obviously real madrid not an easy one vinicius jr Hakpo, rodrigo bellingham chuameni richie Longo, Field, Schlotterbeck, Alexander Arnold, and Simon in goal. Interesting. It took us years of building up our academy, bringing through talents to now step up against Jude Bellingham and his Real Madrid side. I've got to say, though, Jude at Real, he looks like, he looks like he's been there for years. It's incre incredible to watch him there. Immediately taking over a very important position in that team, getting goals, getting assists and all that stuff. Very, very impressive. Because Real Madrid, obviously, were lacking attackers. Oh, what a save. Because of Benzema's departure and Bellingham just decided, you know what? I'm just going to be the best midfielder in the world. Okay, I cannot get this ball off of Real Madrid. Are you kidding? What a save. Vinny... Vinny, incredible dribbling. 
It's 1-0. I tried to stop them. It was impossible. Our opponents do get through in the end. Two chances, one goal for Real Madrid. I was kind of hoping my goalkeeper could do more there, but Cody Jaco gets Real Madrid the lead. Come on, Youth Academy. We can't lose this. Real again. Dangerous. Are you kidding? My goalkeeper doesn't even jump. He can't react to it. It's 2-0. Real Madrid is making this look way too easy. Guys, this might be a loss. You've got to be kidding, man. Oh, wow. I can't believe it. Real Madrid is dominating the hell out of me. I can't remember the last time where I got dominated this much. All the way to the left to Garrido. Garrido sprinting. We could score something here. Garrido, that's not good enough. That is better. Castro, 2-1. The comeback is on. We're getting a bit lucky, but honestly, don't care. Vinny. Bellingham. We get the ball off of him. Lovely. Castro and Branco. Down the right with Bird. Bird, come on, buddy. You are my highest rated player for a reason, right? That's a great pass. Here we go. Yes. Yildiz gets the equalizer. The Turkish number 10 makes it happen. Oh, I didn't think we would make this comeback happen within the first half. Four goals in the first 45 minutes. What a game this has turned out to be. Uh-oh. Vinny is completely open. Good pass to Rodrigo. Inside. That was Jude. They could have had their moment there. Here goes Castro into Branco, sprinting away. In between two, gets past them. One more, finish, ref, pen. How is he not given a pen there? Ogi needs to go back into his position. Rodrigo, Real, 3-2. Oh, mate, I just really struggle when they start dribbling. I can't get close enough. Rodrigo making Kara look... Like he just doesn't belong into Champions League football. A straight response, maybe? Ref! What? That is so ridiculous. How am I not getting a penalty for those moments? All the way to the right. Real Madrid still pressing like crazy. Good ball inside. Once more. Inside. One more. Finish. No. He actually gets there. Guys, the Youth Academy project has failed this time around. We'll have to try it with a different team and a different approach. I'm so sorry. I really tried my best, but my best today wasn't good enough. Congratulations to Real Madrid. Well done. Oh boy. It is what it is. We move on. Leighton Orient. I couldn't do you justice. Have a good one, guys. Take care and peace.